day 72. And what you're going to be doing is letting your user create their own username and password for their own diary, which is pretty cool. First thing I want you to go and do is go back 10 days and seal your diary code. Paste it into your window to get started. The second thing I want you to do is the first time this diary is run, and the way I'd like you to find that is I'd like you to find the keys, and if there are no keys in the database, that's the first time it's run, prompt the user for a username and a password. I would like you to salt and hash that password, store it in the database with the key name as their username, and then proceed to go into the diary. Now, the next time that program's run, because there's one key in there, it'll just prompt for a username and password. If they don't get it right, they won't be allowed in to that diary. You will need to change the way it finds diary entries just a little bit to make sure that it doesn't accidentally print out the username, password, and salt every time it's going through the diary entries. But aside from that, it should be quite straightforward. Don't forget, if you need support, we've got the Discord where you can go and ask a bunch of cool people exactly how to do something, and they're very, very helpful. We've got our help forums on ask.replit.com where we have a 100 days section specifically devoted to that. Or if you'd like to get me to solve your problem, then we go live every other Wednesday with Replit 101 and Code Helpline. When you're done, publish it to the community and share it with us with the hashtag Replit 100 Days of Code. Tomorrow, we are starting to move to actually building applications now. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you do Tkinter anymore because who uses desktop software? We're going to start building websites that use Python to run their code. But before we can do that, we need a crash course in how websites work. So the next two lessons will be a crash course in HTML.